I personally, uh, okay, let's try English, please. <laughs> I can't speak at all to save my life right now. My brain is completely gone. Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this clown makeup look. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. To get started, I'm going to be using the Moran Makeup Face and Body Paint. This is their 30 count palette and I'm going to be using their makeup brushes as well. But first, I have to block out these brows. <sighs> We're going to look... A bit crazy for a while until I draw them back on again but you know what it's gonna look a little bit crazy until the end it's gonna be one of those looks <laughs> taking some Elmer's stick glue putting this all over my brow I forgot to pick up some glue this is whatever I had it's working but she is very flaky. I'm hoping I'll be able to brush this off and the brows will be able to stay in place. Let's see. Let's hope. <laughs> Grabbing my Magic Star Concealer in the shade C7. I'm going to place this all over my brows. Blending it out with a beauty blender. Oh, this flakiness. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's what I get for forgetting to pick up some glue. You know what? We just will make do. That's all you can do. Guys, I've blocked out my brows before. And right now, because this glue stick is probably close to expiring, it's giving me... <laughs> Some problems but that's why this is as good as the brows are going to get I look very pale right now because I added some primer while I was off camera so now I'm just gonna quickly apply some foundation going back in with some concealer but a different shade as much as I'm living for all this Halloween content that I'm doing, my skin is paying the price for all this face paint. <sighs> I mean, it always could be a whole lot worse, but I still have two more looks to do. <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to push through. I'm pushing through, but my skin is crying out for help. <laughs> To set my face, I'm using my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. I am obsessed with this. Starting off with the light green paint. Using this to create a heart shape around my right eye. Without a doubt, the hardest thing about this look is trying to make this heart symmetrical as possible possible as you guys saw I started out from the top but then I was beginning to struggle so to make my life easier I started from the bottom and then connected it I found that to be a lot easier just a little FYI if you guys are struggling with that as well but now we can move on to this side I really want this vertical line to match with the center of my pupil. So I'm going to start off by the eyelid. I'm going to go and continue this, but I'm going to skip over my brow and do another underneath my eye as well. As you guys can see, I already started making another two on the opposite ends of the line we had just created. Now, for this one that's towards the inner corner of the eye, this is going to go across, but it's going to stay under the brow. This one towards my cheek is going to go towards my brow, but again, it's going to stay underneath it. 
real quickly i'm gonna go into a palette i no longer use i don't care if paint gets mixed into it it's only used for these kind of looks now i'm just gonna take a light green shade and place it over the paint that way the paint stays in place especially on my eyelids but since i'm doing it to this side i obviously have to do it on this side too because as you can see it deepens it up and it's not the same shade as it was before if you don't have hooded eyes you probably don't have to do this but i do i was so excited to get on with this look that i almost forgot a step and i'm about to tap the excess off this paintbrush as if it was a regular makeup brush what the heck is with me today <laughs> if that would have gotten on my carpet i would have cried anyway with the green shade i'm going to make an outline around my mouth this is what the outline of the mouth looks like nothing crazy i did slightly curve it up on top now i'm going to grab the shade the shade i'm gonna grab the orange color filling in the heart moving on to the lips i'm going to create an orange outline around the green perimeter Continuing with the star on the left side of the eye. And no, I don't know what just happened with my voice. <laughs> it's coming and going. Now going in with some orange to set the paint in place. Move on to the purple. With this, I'm going to do a small circle on my nose and fill it in. I'm gonna use this eyeliner brush. I rarely use this. I, to be honest, the only time I've ever used this is for looks like this to clean up some crazy lines. But for today, I'm gonna use this to outline my brows. These brows are pretty basic besides when we get to the inner corners. Drag it down and slightly curve it up. Create a, a line in the middle of my neck. I want it to have the curve, like how it has on the brush. I'm just going to flip it over. You know how many do this. But <laughs> I'm going to lean forward. Maybe that will help just so it can get that nice curve. <laughs> it could be better. I'll probably fix it. <laughs> Switching it back to the orange and going on the opposite sides of where we just placed the purple. I'm gonna rotate between the purple after the orange and then the orange after the purple until it goes around my neck completely well not completely but just the front part yeah <laughs> from here i'm gonna mix white and a dark purple together and use that to set the purple in place and then obviously I'm going to go back in with the orange and set that as well. Alright, I'm freezing. I raised the air. Hopefully I can get warmer, especially with this little hoodie that I have on. I had to stop and take a break because my back was killing me and I was starving. So now that brief intermission is over, we can begin to move on <coughs> oh my goodness i don't know why but when i eat food i get like fyi or like tmi i get like flummy <clears throat> so 
if my voice is going in and out and I'm coughing a lot, that's why. Moving on, I'm going to be dipping into the white paint and yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to fill in the inside of my mouth, avoiding my lips as much as possible. <laughs> I did forget one last thing before we go into the eyeshadow. <laughs> and that is the line underneath here. With the green, I'm going to outline the round edges of the neck. Now it's time for the shading, which is really going to bring this to life. Um, you know what? For this, I might go in with a little bit of a black. Black, white, and a little bit of a light green. Let's see. Let's see if I like that more. Ooh, that's what I want. All right. So a little bit of black, green, and some white. I'm going to do the same thing to every green line there is. But when it comes to the heart, I'm going to focus it towards inside the heart instead of going on the outside. I'm going to mix hmm, probably orange, white for now. Maybe I'll dip into black. I'm going to focus this along the outside of the heart. Going around the edges of my mouth as well. And if you couldn't have guessed it, I'm gonna do the same thing with the one on my eye. For the nose and the brows, I'm gonna take just the dark purple and a little bit of white. Oh, um, it's not as dark as I want it to be, so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of black. Hopefully I won't regret this and just go a little bit underneath the brow. Basically on the edge of where the purple and the orange meet. So close to the finish line. I'm gonna mix hmm, probably orange and a little bit of that dark purple and white and go along the edges. I don't remember if I said this before, I'm pretty sure I didn't now that I'm thinking about it since I'm about to do my lips. Um, I did set the white with some eyeshadow, just a little FYI, although, you know, it's kind of the same process, you know, with this look, you do the paint, you set it, same thing. <laughs> anyway, real quickly, I'm going to hop off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I do apologize if I am whispering a little bit more. The thing is, it is now almost 8 o'clock at night. My mother goes to bed pretty early. <laughs> so, in respect of her, I gotta lower my voice a little bit. Not like I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, but it's also awkward if I'm just talking to myself in my room and there's dead silence, you know what I'm saying? So For lips, I'm wearing the JSC Lip Liner in the shade Weirdo, and then in the middle, I put Unicorn Blood. Then to top that off, I am wearing the gloss in the shade Heaven's Gate. This lip combo is deadly. It's that beautiful murder sexy dangerous vampy red lip it's drop dead gorgeous now for highlight i am wearing the extreme frost highlight in the shade lick my glit i currently don't have it in my hands but she is stunning all over my body i am also wearing the jsc liquid frost highlight in frozen peach I don't remember if I said my other highlight was from JSC as well. For lashes, I am wearing Huda Beauty in the style Claudette. Oh, I almost forgot. For the inner waterline, I did use some white... Um, <laughs> excuse my brain. <laughs> 
I just used some white pencil in the waterline as I was trying it to say. If you wanted to twist this and make this a little bit gory, you could add some fake blood, whether it's around the edges of the mouth, around your neck, or even random splatters on your face. Yes, that is Sadie. <laughs> but that is basically it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, as well as hang the notification bell. As always, every product used today will be linked down below in the description box. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.